Okey. Ah uh, pada kali ini kita akan saya akan kita akan menyelesaikan masalah lab test one untuk student saya. Kita akan menyelesaikan masalah lab test one yang saya sudah bagi kepada semasa lab. <coughs> so soalan dia write simple java program using basic data types operates and expression 15 marks duration 1 hour and instruction figure 1.0 which is this one okay figure 1.0 shows a straight line write the java program to calculate the gradient of a straight line your program should have brief description and comments given to coordinate x1 y1 x2 y2 use proper mathematical formula to find the gradient between two coordinates so these are the sim sample output if you have finished programming if you run you execute your program the program should look like this okay should look like this of course the value of x1 y1 10 can be changed okay not necessarily like, not not necessarily 4 3 it can be anything all right okay let's do the programs I use BlueJ for my Java programming. Okay. So we need to make a new class. So let's say lab test. Let's say gradient. Grade D. Oh, we already have gradient over here so gradient test gradient lab okay gradient lab and then okay so gradient lab we move here double click all right i usually make my coding from a scratch so i will i will delete all of this and then first thing first we are going to import scanner java.util.scanner we are going to input this one because we are going to input values into your programming into your yes your programming and then name of your class public class should be the same like this gradient lab okay open braces and then public static void and main and then send the is a string and argument s open braces all right uh, and then we need to name our scanner scanner usually we call it sc this is going to be our new scanner new scanner system dot in input so we're going to use sc as our input all right uh, okay so this is very straightforward so we're going to ask the user to input the first value which is enter enter first coordinate enter first coordinate which is x1 x1 All right and then okay so we use double because sometimes it has points so double x1 equals to next sc next double right and then we're going to input three more values so i will just will just copy all of this okay copy and then copy and then copy and then just the first the second one is y1 so input at the first coordinate of y1 so this one is y1 and then enter second coordinate so change this into second coordinate of x2 
this one will be y2 second coordinate second and don't forget to change this into y2 okay this one also y2 y2 x2 all right that's it okay now we are going to calculate the gradient we haven't we haven't declared the gradient so it will be double double gradient equals to to find the gradient simply y2 minus y1 divided with x1 minus x2 x2 minus x1 so this you already known know this from knew this formula from the secondary school huh? everybody knows this kind of formula to find the gradient between two coordinates right and then display okay display so i'll display i uh, use system out system out print ln print new line and then because we have spacing space over here so i'll put n eh, slash n then the gradient the gradient of the line is is okay is what is gradient whatever gradient it you just have you you have just calculated gradient. right and then finish programming one more was versus compile i hope you don't have any error okay no errors class compile no syntax error now we run our program enter enter post coordinate okay let's look what is the post coordinate the first coordinate is four okay four second y1 is three x2 is ten y2 is five so it should post to be 0 0.333333 because we use double so it double so it has double decimal point okay, double decimal point actually we can control the decimal by using some commands okay, some commands if you want to limit the decimal place let's say two decimal places you need to change a little bit of the command of the pro commands at the program okay so you need to change right there right here okay. let's say i want the gradient to have only two decimal places so i need to put string dot format and then open quotation percent dot two f if you want two decimal places put two if you want four decimal places put four so i want two decimal places so to put two f close decimal comma and then the gradient should be okay no okay because the s is not capital so suppose the s is capital okay what happened oh one more one more parenthesis okay compile okay all right huh? let's look let's run our program okay the first is four three ten and five it should be two decimal places right so two decimal places you can control the decimal, decimal places by using this kind of commands okay. this kind of command string format person uh, open quotation percentage dot to f f is float la. okay float floating point so two floating actually there are other uh, 
other way but this is one of the method okay so if you have any questions just put down at the comment section okay, thank you very much